Spilk the Inventor. Princess Dot and some of the blueberries stood outside Flick's room on the anthill. Pop, wheeze, gulp, came the noises from inside. As always, Flick was trying to invent something to help the ant colony. Maybe we should ask him if he needs help, Dot suggested. But before anyone could answer, there was a loud thump. Flick bounced out of the room, landing at Dot's feet. Hmm, Flick muttered as he stood up and brushed himself off. The flinging mechanism must be too tight. Flick was so deep in thought, he didn't even notice Dot and her friends. He marched right past them and back into his room. Well, Dot said, at least we know he's okay. The next morning, Dot saw Flick at the edge of the field with a funny looking machine. Hi, Flick, Dot said. What you working on? Oh, hello, Princess, said Flick. He smiled happily. This is my pickup and mover machine. How does it work? asked Dot. Here, let me show you, Flick said as he helped Dot up on the rock. Then he started his machine. Soon, an arm on the machine reached out and grabbed Dot. <laughs> that tickles, she said, giggling. Suddenly, Dot felt herself being lifted into the air. A moment later, she landed safely on the ground. Wow, we cried Dot. Look how far I've moved. Excellent, Flick said. I'm glad I adjusted that flinging mechanism. Otherwise, you might have ended up on the other side of Ant Island. Just then, Thorny appeared. Flick, Thorny said, why aren't you collecting food with the rest of the worker ants? Hello, Thorny. I was hoping you'd ask me that very question, Flick replied. You see, I have invented a new machine. Would you like to see how it works? Thorny was angry. He, we don't have time for all these silly inventions. There's work to be done. We need to collect food. But, Flick tried to explain, just get to work like the other ants, Thorny called as he stomped away. Flick hung his head. Don't worry, Flick, Dot said. You'll figure out some way to use your invention. I just know it. Yeah, it must be good for something, but what? Flick said to Dot as he walked out to the field to work. Later that night, Flick sat in his room, trying to think of a useful invention. Suddenly, he got an idea. He worked deep into the night. Early the next morning, Dot found Flick outside, looking intently at a large stock. Flick, she said, You'd better get out in the fields with the other ants. Thorny's been looking for you. Sure I will, Dot, Flick said, but wouldn't you like to see my latest invention first? It's a stock chopper. Flick, you're going to get in trouble, Dot warned. You're supposed to be collecting food. Yes, yes, Flick said. I will, I will right after I try this out. Stand back, princess. Flick started up his machine and set to work. Moments later, the stock was chopped neatly in half. Aha, Flick cried. It worked. How do you like that, princess? But Dot didn't answer. Thorny did. How many times do I have to tell you? There's work to be done, cried Thorny. But Thorny, Flick said, look at this. It's my new stock chopping machine. We don't have time for this, Thorny insisted. But I'm sure, Flick began. We don't need to chop stocks. We need to collect food, Thorny told him. Flick's antenna dropped. 
as he walked out to the fields to join the other worker ants. That's all Thorny thinks about, harvesting food, Flick mumbled to himself. Then Flick stopped short. That's what we need, he cried, a harvester, a machine to collect food. Flick turned around and raced back to his room. He looked at his pickup and mover machine. Then he looked at his stock chopping machine. Hmm, what would happen if I combined them? Flick thought out loud. I guess there's only one way to find out. The following morning, with his new invention strapped to his back, Flick headed towards the fields. He smiled as he watched two ant children run past him playing tag. Then he waved to some worker ants collecting food. Flick sighed happily. He knew that his invention would save the worker ants hours of working time. In fact, Flick thought he might become something of a hero. Flick tried to get Thorny's attention, but Thorny was too busy talking to Princess Ada, and Princess Dot was nowhere to be found. Flick, one of the workers called out, what crazy thing did you invent this time? Ha ha ha. The other ants laughed too. That Flick, one said, he's always thinking up useless stuff. But Flick didn't mind the other ants teasing. He was busy starting up his machine. Then he cut down a stock. Moments later, the flinging mechanism launched dozens of pieces of grain into a basket. Flick's machine worked. Hey, cried one worker ant. That's your pickup and mover machine. That's right, Flick said proudly. And it's connected to your stock chopping machine said another ant. Uh-oh. Uh-huh, Flick replied. Wow, shouted the worker ants. Yep, I put them together and made a harvester, Flick explained. Now one ant can collect as much food as a whole bunch of ants put together. Hooray, cried the other ants. Three cheers for Flick. Flick grinned. He had done it. He had finally created a useful machine. Boy, dear Blueberry Journal, boy, the worker ants sure do work hard. Just a few of them collect enough food for the entire ant colony to survive winter. Sometimes the seeds are already on the ground and the workers pick them up and carry them away in their mouths. Other times, they have to cut the seeds off the grasses and wheats before they can take them. Now that we have Flick's harvester, everyone can gather seeds faster and more easily. Then all the worker ants have to do is carry them inside the nest to keep them dry. Hooray! More time to play. Till next time, Dot.